It's July, it's hotter than 40 hells, so I'm out here in the wilderness where the Black Metal Warriors like to dwell, and I'm going to give you a brand new review video for the Metalhead Box of June 2019. Ah, the Metalhead Box, for those of you who don't know what it is, it is a monthly mystery subscription service, you don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, you get all kinds of different metal related items, like CDs, patches, pins, uh, fanzines sometimes, CDs, cassettes. Um, you can go onto the Metalhead Box website. They've got the mini box, they've got the vinyl box, they got the cassette box, they got the regular box. You can choose your favorite genre, you can choose a secondary genre, and they will uh, put different items in your box uh, depending on those things. And one reason you should get the Metalhead Box is because often they have exclusive items, uh, often done in house, such as this Merciful Fate patch right here uh, for Don't Break the Oath. Uh, Corpse Grinder's favorite album of all time, for those of you who don't know. Uh, very colorful, the colors pop very nice. Uh, it's thick enough that I feel like it'll stay on your jacket during a mosh pit. I feel like it'll stick out very well on a denim jacket, even the lightest ones. Um, sometime last year or the year before, honestly, I can't even remember at this point, they included a dime bag guitar keychain. Well, this month they're doing a Chuck Schuldiner guitar keychain. Oh yeah. Now for death bands out there and for guitar playing death bands out there, don't be suckered into buying any Chuck signature guitar picks because Chuck didn't have signature guitar picks. He used green Dunlops. In the meantime, I'm going to be using, where is it? I'm going to be using my vinyl record guitar pick to ch test out this new keychain. Playing my sixth string on my yard swing. Wishing I had pizza and Mountain Dew. Dun, 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 dun. Wasting away again in Metal Fuckville. Dun, dun, dun. Going back to the exclusive in-house designs part of things, um, the Metalhead Box also does their pins right here. Tribute pins, they're called. This time for the classic death metal band, Cancer. Uh, to the gory end album artwork, very awesome. We got the machete guy right here. Uh, he looks a little bit like a Disney villain, but he's being macheted, so we can guess that maybe he was taking his summer vacation down at Camp Crystal Lake. Who knows? You know, he's been photographed like this all the way since the early 90s, you know, since he's long dead by now, and since this album has touched so many people, my guess is maybe he would want to be remembered like this, so it's not necessarily exploiting his death, you know what I mean? Anyway, it, it's just a really cool pen right here. Very colorful, very well made, very thick. It's got two of these clamps right here, so uh, not as much of a chance of it falling off anytime soon. The Metalhead Box is known for having autographs from metal musicians such as K.K. Downing, uh, Terrence Hobbs, uh, Terry Butler, people like that. And for this month, we have Alex from Immolation. Intense band and intense guitar player. Not a bad album amongst their catalog, and he seemed like a cool dude when I met him for five seconds a couple years ago. Very cool and very good quality picture, too. And he's smiling. He's like, mm. Of the two CDs included, we have Necrosphere, a relatively newer death metal band from Montreal with their EP, Blasphemous Dominions. Oh, yeah. It's pure death metal all the way, uh, raw sounding with vocals reminiscent of Glenn Benton. Um, it's more original than a lot of the newer, old-school sounding death metal bands in that these guys are actually trying and doing more than just making old-school death metal. They're making good music as well. The important notes are hit, the right rhythms are played, and the necessary changes are there in the music. There's also plenty of melodic guitar flourish over the pure death metal sound. The other CD we have is a band called Drawn and Quartered. They are a brutal death metal band from Seattle with their 2007 album, uh, Merciless Hammer of Lucy. Oh yeah, what's cool about this album is this is the deluxe edition with the music videos and a second desk full of demos, uh, limited to about 3,000 copies. So we're already feeling a little special. Anyway, the guitar riffs have the dissonance of immolation, and the drums, uh, they're just they're just moshable drums. I can already feel the vibe of the club listening to this album. Uh, it's not exactly their best album ever, but it's a fine release, especially if you're a longtime fan of death metal. Every month, the Metalhead Box tries to have an exclusive shirt, well, for this month, we have a classic thrash metal band from Ohio called Destructor. Oh yeah, they've had several demos and only a small handful of full-length albums, the last one being Decibel Casualties in 2017. On the shirt, actually, is Restore Chaos, the opening song from Decibel Casualties. 
Maximum Destruction was good, but it's cool that they're still trying to grind it out, even in the present. Thrash Metal, that's fun. Nice and colorful shirt design, too. Whew, it is hotter than fuck shit out. I think I'm gonna take a drive after this is over. But before I take that drive, I got to uh, put that new sticker on my truck. Uh, the sticker that's included this month from the box, of course. See, in 2017, they included a sticker for the Decibel Tour, which included Creator, Obituary, Midnight, and Horrendous. Oh, that sticker's been on my truck for two years now. I'm happy to say that there's another sticker that can sit beside it, the Metalhead on Board sticker. Now I can take that drive, but before I take that drive, I want to thank the people at the Metalhead Box for sending this over. I appreciate it very much. I love you so much. <laughs> I also love everybody who watched this video. Thank you very much. I love everybody who watched my last live stream. I feel like it was the best live stream I've done ever. Uh, the best looking one, also the best paced one. A uh, nice fast hour and two minutes. Um, all the fat trimmed off, good questions, good answers. And also, I uploaded a new video, The Genius of Ministry Felt Peg. Oh yeah, I worked my ass off on this video. Lots of time, lots of research went into it. And even those who aren't fans of Ministry or that album can get something out of it. Please go watch it, it's awesome. And while we are at it, please go follow my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and if you choose, give me money on Patreon. Won't hold it against you if you don't. But um, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I still got shirts, I still got magnets. Hit me up on any of my social media accounts and uh, you can order them from me. Grind on.